there. This is the Business Day CEO Forum. My name is Elizabeth Musa, and I'm standing here with Dr. Jamila Ayedun. She's the CEO of Credit Registry. And I mean, we're just going to talk about some of the things that you are doing to empower the youth, especially in this time that we are. I mean, the African youth population is the youngest. So in what ways is Credit Registry as a company empowering the youth? Very good. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be able to speak with you, especially at such a fantastic event as the CEO Forum. I think, you know, one of the things that um, Credit Registry, especially being in a position that it is, it's a bureau and it captures the credit history of individuals and that essentially builds a credit reputation for them. Um, and when you think about the youth, the youth, first of all, they have to be informed, they have to be educated that there is a financial system and that there is a way of how money works in the economy. Once they're empowered with that kind of information, then they can build, if you will, a financial future that is going to last them, right? So the, being able to learn while they're young will make sure that they have the right investments, make sure they have the right um, financial savings, make sure that they have the right insurance, and then that will empower them to be able to get access to credit in the future to build and multiply what they're doing. And so what we're doing in, in order to be able to do that is that we actually have an Africa Credit Expo and we're inviting the youth, businesses and everything to come is absolutely free for them to be able to get access to this information. And we have stakeholders and, if you will, ecosystem players and partners that are coming to be able to make that happen. And so we're excited to have that. It's going to happen in October. And we're just really excited. Many of the partners that we know are actually here today as well. And so um, that's what we're doing in order to empower the youth. So how has this event, I mean, the theme for this event is leadership in tough times. How has this event um, what are some of the things you've gained from this event? So far, so good. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things that we're gaining is that, you know, as CEOs, we're all feeling the pain. We're feeling the pain of when it comes to, you know, the brain drain. We're feeling the pain of the cost of inflation, of everything that's going up, and then still having to make sure that you can meet payroll at the, at the end of the month, make sure that you can still deliver excellent services to your clients so that they can also be able to, you know, do their business as well and be profitable. And so all of us are feeling that. But what is really exciting is to see that we're still making our way through it, right? We're finding innov innovative ways to do business. We're creating new business models. We're all looking for new ways of, uh, should I say, utilizing technology to, uh, to be able to scale and do our businesses faster and still being able to feed knowledge into our workforces so that they can actually be able to multiply what they're doing as well. And so um, it's good to see others that are, you know, in the same boat as you. That does encourage you to be able to still do more. And so, um, so yeah, so that's one thing I'm really loving about seeing and being part of this event. We can all help and support one another. Absolutely. And as a, as a woman leader, what's one thing that has really helped you to you know, overcome some of the challenges? I mean, just speaking, let's talk about the gender mm -hmm. part of things. What's one thing that's helped you to overcome um, some of the challenges of leadership? As a woman? Yeah. I love that question. Um, you know, the one thing that uh, I was speaking with my father about this, actually, and he says, you know, baby, do this all. You're, you're my baby girl. I'm his first harvest. He says, you have power by nature. You know, you're born with power. And he says, women by default are born with power. You're the first nurturer. You're the first teacher. You're the first one that, you, you know, when the baby opens their eyes that they see. You're the first ones that listen to them, to talk to them. He says, so with that power that you have, you automatically have a responsibility to educate and inform and teach others around you. And so I think that, you know, that kind of gives me that extra level of encouragement, um, courage to be able to do the things that we do despite what is going on around us because we already have it by nature. And I think, you know, as women, we have to continue to build from within that, that we have, right? Because then we can now pull others up and be able to continue to be encouraging to them and show them the courage that we have in order to continue to move things forward. So yeah, so I, I love being a woman and I love the fact that we have that innate, if you know, ability to be able to be the super, the super woman that we, that that we are. are. Yes, yes, that we are. And so, um, so yeah, so that's, that's right. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of Credit Registry, Dr. Jamila Ayedun. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.